So there's a nice story. Once there was a king who asked his minister, what does God do every day? The minister was very confused. He answered that the uh, Lord creates this world. The minister, the king said that fool, this world has already been created. What does he do every day? Like all of us have something we do, isn't it? We have some plan, what we want to achieve, our daily schedule. So what does God do every day? So the minister was thinking, thinking, he said, Maharaj, I do not have an answer for this. The king said, you fool, get me an answer tomorrow, off with your head. And so the minister was feeling very sad and the minister starts walking around the kingdom and one day he sees a farmer and the farmer is seeing him and the farmer asks him, dear minister, why are you so sad? What has happened? The minister says, no, tomorrow the king is going to cut my head. So why? Because I could not answer his question. What was his question? What does God do every day? So then the farmer said, it's a very easy question. I can answer it for you. Tell me. No, no, no. I will tell it directly to the king. Take me there. So the minister thought that anyway, I am a dead man walking. Looks like this guy is going to join me. No problem. Let us go. So the next day, both of them reached the king's court. And uh, the farmer comes in front of the king. And the king asks, who is this? What is this? So the minister says that this farmer can answer your question. So the king said, okay, start. So the farmer comes to the king and the farmer says, my dear king, first thing, get down from your throne. So the king was sitting on a very high throne. The king was very shocked. What are you speaking? How dare you? The farmer said, if you want to know your answer, get down from your throne first. So the king came down from his throne very angrily. And then immediately the farmer went up and sat on the simhasan, on the throne of the king. And the king now was outraged. He said, how dare you? What's wrong with you? What is this? I'm asking you a question. What are you doing? Then the farmer says, this is exactly what Lord does every day. He humbles those who are proud. Right? And he elevates those who are humble. So this is actually in one sense we can understand what God does in this material world. Right? Krishna is always trying to humble the, the false ego, the pride of the conditioned living souls. By so much suffering, so much uh, troubles, by so much struggles. Right? With this falsity of this world, this illusion, nothing remains in this world. Right? Nothing lasts forever. This is supposed to meant to actually break the false ego of the jiva so that the jiva will surrender to God. But still the jiva is so stubborn, he does not want to. Right? As long as we have this false ego, thinking that I can enjoy this world, thinking that I can, I'm a master, I'm separate, we can never, never go back to the kingdom of God. So God wants to humble us. Now let's see what does God do every day in his spiritual world. The Lord plays. If you read this Krishna book by Shla Prabhupada or the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, what does Krishna do every day? He plays, he enjoys. Morning he wakes up, mother dresses him very beautifully. He goes into the forest with all his friends and cows. Right? They go cow herding, they dance, they play different games. Noontime they're all having lunch on the banks of the river. After that they take some rest. They dance and they play some more. Then the evening they come back, see with their families. So it's very wonderful. So this is the life that God is inviting us to, but we say, no, I don't want to play. I have come into this world now because I want to work. So we thinking working is a very proud thing. Working is a very classy thing. But actually we have play with God. So another part of this question is that if Lord desires something, but it's not done, then what does he do? So this is impossible. The Lord is known as Atma Ram, meaning he is self-satisfied. He is not in need of anything. And he is known as Apta Kam. That means whatever his Kamanai, whatever his desire, whatever he desires for, that becomes Apta, that becomes complete. So the Lord wants something, immediately it becomes complete. So like this we can see what God does every day, whether in his own kingdom or in the material world. Therefore, our only recourse is actually we surrender our so-called created false sense of happiness an illusionary false ego and then we can enter back give up the work of this material world and enter into the play of the supreme world Hare Krishna